Hello, and today I realised that it was a real long time since I've come to you with a, a web design tutorial, so here's one for you. What we're going to talk about today is a quick tip, really. I, I don't really know if it's a tutorial, but a, a quick tip on how you can include jQuery, the jQuery library that we've been talking about and that I use to do all my JavaScript stuff, because it makes it really easy. Be sure to check out my jQuery videos on my channel if you haven't seen them. But it makes it really, really easy to do stuff in JavaScript, as you'll see in a minute. So, what we're going to talk about today is using j jQuery or any really ho hosted JavaScript library from Google. Now, what are the adva advantages of this? Well, Google's servers... Um, take the bandwidth hit they have it loaded on their server so it doesn't have to take up space on your server and it's just a little bit quicker and should be a little more reliable um, because it's just for testing and it's quicker to do um, it's quicker to get because all you have to do is type the address of it in, you don't have to download jQuery and then put it in the directory and all that kind of stuff, you you just write the script includes to where it is on, on Google and there's an official kind of scheme, it's 19 hours. scheme for doing this, so I'm going to show you that today. If we just pop open our project directory, the um, what I'm going to show you in this video is kind of is kind of irrelevant to this because we're just going to be showing you how to do it from Google. That's what the tutorial is, but I'll show you the example real quick. We've got a JavaScript folder which a JavaScript file which basically waits for a click, and then on the wrapper it runs the animate function and animates it up to a width of 600 pixels so let's check what that looks like in the CSS file you see we've got a centered wrapper with a width of 500 pixels so we're gonna um, move the thing up if we look in the HTML file we can see we've got this simple HTML file and then there's the class of action which we look for in the JavaScript file, which when we click that, it's gonna do, do, do something. Notice that I've still included the href attribute with a reference to an empty ID for accessibility reasons. So that's a look at the example um, code. Let's look at the example page. So when we click that, we just wanted to get wider. That's basically all we wanted to do. But right now, if we click our thing, we can see that nothing happens. It doesn't get wider and nothing happens. That's because jQuery isn't included yet. So, let's take a look at how we include jQuery. The first thing I'm going to do... Um, this isn't really the first thing on the page, but after the um after the I'm actually gonna load my JavaScript after the um last div on the page or last thing on the page has loaded because obviously if we're using Google to s support this JavaScript we don't always know if their service is going to be up when this page loads, so we we don't we don't want it to be dependent on this uh, JavaScript in order for it to load. Um, so I got my JavaScript on there, but that's that, that's on my server. Um, so if we Go back to the page. 
refresh and if we open firebug go to the console all I want to do is basically show you that even though that file is included jQuery is not included yet as we can see even though we've got that file uh, jQuery is not included so this will work for any jQuery thing it's just like including um, any any version of jQuery and as I said it's really easy to update and really easy on the server and all that stuff because you only have to change one digit when the version upgrades which you'll you'll see in a minute so once again at the bottom of our file we're going to start writing our includes I'm going to do a quick um, thing here in text mate so that I get that include so the URL we're going to reference it to is quite a simple URL it's um, it's google.com forward slash js api now there's many many um javascript libraries on google so we, we obviously haven't just loaded them all onto our site but where do we specify that we want to include jquery well we specify that in another um another include what we do is we say um and it's not going to load all those javascript libraries that it has at the moment it's not going to load anything but we're going to run a google dot load function and then as a parameter we're going to tell it what we want it to load. So, first of all, we're going to say the name of the JavaScript library, which in our case is going to be jQuery. You can also do it with prototype and all that kind of stuff. And we're then going to put a comma and then the version number. This is what I was saying about making it easy to upgrade. Um, you, you, you just have to change one of these digits when you hear that there's a new version of jQuery app because and um, I might add that where you download jQuery from it's this same source you might you might as well just get it get it off Google where they have the bandwidth making it easy to upgrade and making it easier to install not having the burden on your server so if we save that just to prove that we have indeed got just to prove that we have indeed got jQuery going and um, we can hit our link and it now makes it bigger so this really wasn't a, j a jQuery tutorial it was just to show you that code that you can um run on your on your page so now if we look at our um thing we even though we've got all those uh, script files it's just like loading jquery and it's way way easier um so you might as well do it that way anyway this was quite a long i always have a habit of making things that 
should be easy, really, really long. But this was about how to include jQuery from Google. Thanks for watching.